Hello everybody, welcome to a living end video. Last night I was with a friend, he asked me what deck do we what deck do I play in modern? I told him, play living end. It's a great deck, easy deck. It's very good deck, one of the best. We we trophied. We beat three scams on the way. The Fury Main helped a lot to beat a scam. Uh, the list has 21 lands, 6 of them are creatures, with all you find and generous and Your deck has pitch of every color, blue, black, red and green. You can do that because your land count is extremely low and amongst the land you also find spells like Otawara and Buzeju. This is one of the most unfair deck in the format, with several combo pieces on 3 and force of will and grief. So, extremely good deck. Why play Urborg? It's here to Artcast Grief and Suspend Living End. And also giving Swamp Walk to Stray Rate is no joke. Let's get to a game that is very strong. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start with cycling those Stray Rate on turn 1. If I find Grief, I'm happy to pitch Architects of Will to it. Like, you only have 12 uh, uh, red pitch for Fury, which isn't very many. Okay, here I must pass. Watery Grave, oh wow, is that Blue Black Shadow, is that Mill? Mill is tough because they have a Surgical on... Uh, Leaving end, and unfortunately, there's not much I can do. I have to go cycling end of turn. So, yeah, if they have archive trap surgical, I'll lose to that. Draw. I want to go Waker Waves here. That's very good. Although, ah, I didn't think about it. Oh my. I could lose the game now to a Surgical. Let's hope they don't have it. All right, looks like they have six. So I think we have dodged the surgical, mostly because they mulligan to five, and they probably you know keep surgical and mull to five against unknown deck. Please don't surgical me. Oof! Thank God. And I think and when, and now we can beat even run in the lock, because we uh, outburst the opponent's upkeep and we have force back. And this is the, the Shuntel Force of Will combo, part combo part of the deck. Alright, I think I'm actually doing it doing it now. Because we give them less chance at drawing uh surgical extraction. Oh actually, I should uh, let him mill I should let him mill me first. And then I go up first. So I could mill a grief. Yeah, I think we dodged uh, Surgical well enough and we're going to win this game. And that's a great part of Fury is that if you kill a creature, it comes back with your Living End. For example, you dismember the Dothy and then you Living End and they can cast Dothy in their turn if you're playing it in your turn. Whereas with Fury, you get to kill the Dothy on the way back. So this is why removal spells aren't actually good in this deck. You need a Fury as a removal spell.
Well, Cybert, I just I, I yesterday when I drove when we drove it, I had uh, four endurance. I cut one. I only have three endurance now. Endurance is good also to blank the surgical. Um, so ley line is not good enough. I think it only stops like archive trap, hedron crab. And that's about it. It doesn't stop a lot of the new mill cards that say each opponent exiles. You mean in addition to Fury? Yeah, I mean, you, it's always hard in this deck to cut, right? Because everything is a, is a combo. Okay. I definitely, definitely need to keep four Living End in this matchup. Because they could mill like two or three of them, and I still need another one to combo. Come on, John Magus. I think I'm actually cutting the Furies. Um, they have also the like Neil spell bombs. I really wish I had a third, a fourth endurance in the side. do this cutting a land yeah I'm cutting a land I add more green car for endurance white ley line yeah I've explained it I don't I don't think it's good in this matchup those have near and bridge yeah yeah some of the spells do but very big cost inside in a card like ley, ley line white in this deck no white pitch, so if you if you bring it in, the card needs to be insane, like against Gam. Okay, they go Torment script. Uh, do I want to go grief pitch grief? Yeah. I think I want to take, so Ashes after sucks against this deck, I have a very high cost, so I'm not going to take it. I think I will not take the Surgical as well, I will take the Archive Trap. I will uh, let this die, then I will uh, Karatets. Thank you, Karatets. Welcome, welcome. Then I'll play Steam Vents and I'll search for a breeding pool. So that, uh, yeah. I know they don't ever kept trapping in, so I'm doing this in my turn. There's such a big lag recently. I don't know if it's my computer, my connection, or anything, but Magical Line has been uh, super laggy. Look at that. I clicked that thing like two minutes ago. Yeah, you think we were gonna our cast? Yeah, maybe I should have actually fetched a different land. Yeah, I should have fetched a stomping ground breeding pool. Another grief, but I think that my point in hand is quite bad, so I don't want to um, cast grief. I do want to cycle this Architects of Will. Okay, another generous end. I will uh, cycle for uh, Stomping Ground and pass. You don't want to take basic land against the Field of Ruin decks.
You think, you think I should cast Grey Ogre next turn? I was thinking about casting Endurance. Even though it has applica other applications too. Okay, I'll go Grief, Pitch, Living End. I should have... I made a mistake. I should have played Land first. Because if they Surgical... I guess I don't care about anything in my graveyard. Okay, so Tasha is just bad. I'll take Surgical. And then I go... Shock Untapped, Shardless. Cast Living End. Yeah, maybe I was supposed to just do this. They crack the, uh, the Tor Mud. And then I... And then I play Grief post, post uh, Shardless. Yeah, they should have let me to put Living End on the stack. Then exile it. That was a slight mistake. Anyway, they can... Oh, they drew Crab. That's fine. I have to play Endurance next turn, otherwise I don't have a double green anymore. Yeah, that would be nice if I had lands, but I don't have lands. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, pass. Yeah, they have another field, yeah. This is the last field they had. They had three. Yeah, they exiled like two weeks. Wow. This is six card Tasha's Idus Lauter. <laughs> three Waker of Waves. Be one of the tiniest uh, Tasha's Idus Lauter I've ever seen. Going Endurance on my graveyard is kind of awkward, since if I draw a red card, I win on the spot. I think I'll just cycle. Buongiorno, people. Red land? I still have two living end in my deck. All right, good thing I didn't draw a red land. Uh, there's a one. Oh, sorry, one living end only left. Huh. They have no cards. Yeah, this is like a huge lag. Like you can see, I clicked okay. I I f six like what. Five seconds ago. We should do the clear the cache thing. So this is my exile pile. There's three living end. This is my graveyard. Yep. 
I just think I should do endurance. Like going endurance. I guess I'll do endurance if they mill uh, leading end. Yeah, because they have the crab trigger. Let's see if they mill leading end. They don't. Oh, I'm not gonna go endurance. 24 cards in my deck, plenty of red lands. You have no land, you think? No, I still have a... Uh... Oh, cats are there. I have no land. Oh, wow. I didn't notice it. Okay. I have no breeding pool. Yeah, Living End, okay, Living End Mild, yeah, sure. That wasn't a problem. I mean, sort of problem was, yes. Fetch Land. So I got a six cards. I, mean, I wish I played Endurance, but yeah. Okay, I got three cards. I had an Otawara left. I have, I think I have an Ot Otawara. Not that it casts me much, but should be in the deck. A few cards in my deck. I'll let him draw. If they draw a counter, I lose. It's not that good either. Okay. So they run out of my deck. I don't have any more cards in the deck. She shuffle my endurance in the graveyard in the no actually I don't want to shuffle endurance. Yeah, I don't want to shuffle endurance. I want this in the graveyard. I don't know if it's relevant. Why not? I just want more creatures. Will. I draw land. Can I draw a land? They have no cards in hand. I have exiled the three living end. There is one left in the deck. Fortunately, I wasn't able to draw land. It's okay. I can still cycle into a land. Almost a land. Okay, Rune Crab. Yeah, I have to hope they don't mill me leaving end. Grief. Okay. They drew one card. If it's a land and they don't mill me living end, I win. Not taking Stevens. I was thinking more about casting endurance than force of negation. Yeah, probably search on my own turn was better. I know. No, actually, it didn't matter. They cannot cast the archive trap. I did it in their turn because I thought they would fetch end of my turn. I'd love to draw a blue card to beat Spell Pierce. Okay. 
Okay. Pass. Yeah, it's all about uh, if they mill living end with the six cards from crabs. It's all about that. Wow, the Lemmy Cascade they should have uh, responded by milling. Okay, it would have been in the top six. So. Yep, yeah. all right. Oh, they're out of fetchables. Really? Just two water a grave? Maybe. Yeah, you're right. They're out of fetchables. Am I lethal? Nove, quindici, ventidue, yep. Yeah. No, twenty-one, I think. Dieci. Twenty-one, yeah. Okay, so you got a four, a I'll pass. I feel like this matchup should be impossible for Mill. No, they have surgical main. <laughs> like the Mulligan two five. If the game one they had surgical, I would have lost. Mill is usually good against graveyard decks because it has a lot of graveyard hate. Uh, as early as main deck, and plus hybrid, they have like Soga Lanterns and stuff like this on top of counters. Like, if they didn't have Tashes, you would her, but just another card. And also, like, I, I end, I, I ran out of the of deck, I played Endurance. Hello, Dracula. How's it going? It's going well. We played a league with Murktide where we made a uh, not the best plays and all right round two. I'm I'm against Mister Seri, which is a hardened scales player. The way Living Get interacts with hardened scales is actually pretty bad. As in, they sacrifice all their creature to Ravager and they bring them back. How does Living Get perform against Beans? It's all about uh, Teferi. It's all about Teferi. Yeah, sometimes you lose even to Solitude. Like, they, I remember a video with uh, Four Color Beans where opponent went grief. I evoked Solitude in response and I won the game with that play. All right, I guess they don't play Scales. Osmo Gal Blast. I'll take Gal Blast. I can go Island and Forest Wicker Waves. How does the Shannon Drop with Dress Down? Uh, what do you mean exactly? Tishana's... It doesn't. 
doesn't have text if there's dress down in play. No cards have text if dress down is in play. Go island and into forest. Come on, magical line. Let's get a cascade card. That'd be the best. I don't think I want to go grief. Thirteen Exile Architects of Will. Ooh, they can cast it. We have to I have to hope well first to draw a cascade card. Second that they don't have a, a relic or soul guide. Cascade card? So there my cat swear. Yeah. Tap lingo. Very little lands in this deck. No, uh, I would say it doesn't, Jose. I would say that Karn doesn't have the abilities in your question. One turn to top deck a cascade card. MTG bot doesn't work right now. Seven damage down to six. Exile Urborg. <laughs> nice. More lands. Okay. It's all about now. Opponent, do you see a cascade spell? Because if you don't. Win the game. Sorry, if you do, I'll win the game. If you don't, I lose the game. You don't. Vabine. I lost. How about I say these out? Uh, vamos. Lands and spells. Bring living end isn't great. Maybe I should have shaved living end.
Lend Ragaban. Tango Forest. Steam Vents. Cycle. Cycle go. I'm afraid of graveyard hate. Grab a breathing pool here, and then I'll uh, cycle the creator. Cascade. Hmm. No cascade for Mango. I'll go Fury Pitch Audio Fund. I'll suspend leaving again next turn, probably. Okay, so they discard a Watch their Devil to make food. My Graded is ready for, for a Cascade card. I haven't drawn a Cascade card in two games yet. That is definitely the difference between winning and losing with this deck. Alright, doesn't happen often. It'll happen now. I'll suspend the Living End. That means that for the next three turns I can't play a Cascade card. Oh wow, they found Endurance. If they have a land, they can Endurance my graveyard. Oh, they do? That's so unfortunate. I can choose not to play Living End. Mm, I don't think that's how it works on Magic Online. Put a Wigger of Waves. Put an Outburst. Okay, so we have Outburst, although again, we can't cast it next turn because we have the Living End the turn after, which is mandatory. Good morning, hot water.
I'll go to six. While leaving a left. Yeah, suspending leaving again just never goes well. It's crazy. It never goes well. Okay. I'll kill the Endurance. There's still a Ragamon that puts me to four. The next turn I'll be able to resolve Living End. She's gonna be very large. And it's gonna bring back two Fury so I can actually kill my opponent creatures as well. Oh, for no Galvanic? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I cannot beat that. Also, hope for no. <laughs> no endurance from my deck. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess we lose. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, I could, I could cast the uh, Living Gen now in response. The problem is that uh, I have a suspended Living Gen that's gonna kill me next turn. I will show you so that you know how. The magic happens. But basically what happens is that um Well I guess I'll have an endurance. Oh wait a second, I can I can kill my own things with fury. Okay, this is not bad actually. This is not bad. I might win this game, despite the endurance. Because remember, this living end that I have here is mandatory, okay? So Endurance targets you. I guess I don't even need to target you. Should I target myself? Because this is the other, whatever. I ran out of living end, but I don't care. All right, so I have eight damage to deal. Where, who do I deal them to? I have eight damage to deal. I think I just killed two Furies, right? I think that's the best. Yeah. Oh no, there's a there's an endurance at the end of the at the end of the stack. So opponent will actually resolve their endurance at the end. So they will kill my graveyard. So all I'm doing here is reanimating my opponent's stuff. All right, whatever. Uh, I, I lost. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty unfortunate that they found endurance twice. I, I don't think I had an out here. Yeah. All right. GG. Uh, because I have a leaving end suspended, it's gonna go up uh, end of turn. So. Yeah, I simply don't think I had a way to do much else. I guess I shouldn't have killed the Furies because this way I would have had the Furies in the graveyard. And now I don't. So yeah, that was indeed a mistake. Like I should have just done nothing. Like I wasted a...
Yeah, if I didn't punt there, I might have actually won this game. If I had the Furies in my deck, I might have actually won this game. Like, I just play Outburst in response, don't do anything. Oh, I'm dead. All right, cool. Whatever. I would have died regardless to this god blast. There was no way for me to beat it. So. Even if they didn't find the endurances. GG. This is kind of like the unfortunate times where you just don't draw Cascaders. Like, we didn't draw Cascaders game 1 or 2. We would have won with Cascaders game 1 or 2. That's okay. You accept that this deck is a, a luck deck sometimes. There's not much you can do about it. I still think this Corvus deck is a real deal in Pioneer. I I haven't played any Pioneer. I will uh, eventually. I have to, but now again, I'm focusing more on the uh, work before I leave for my vacation. So I have to do a lot of stuff. When I come back, I'll uh, play more Pioneer for sure. Alright, keep. Maybe I should be mulliganing the hands that don't have cascaders, but... I think not, actually. I think I shouldn't. Okay, jund. I understand Bashward. Yeah. Yeah, your lines sound cool. Maybe it, it was maybe the right one, yeah. So I'll go Island. Cycle. I haven't. Hot water. Hot. Okay, let's go Grief Living End. I have to hope you don't put um, Archon in your graveyard. Yeah, TVT Pog. Yeah, I can probably like, kill my stuff there. With all those Leyland binding. Ryan six. What should I do? It's fine, right? Yeah. I don't know why I was thinking so much about it. I'm sorry. I was actually not thinking about anything. Just... Hey, I'll pass. Uh, no, actually, I'll probably just go off now with Outburst. I'm going to turn binding, but I don't want you to draw spell peers. And then I will uh, make you rearrange the top. You'll go binding and then I'll four and then I'll grief another binding. OK. 
Okay. Shouldn't matter too much. I think I'm happy to give you lands. It have a stomping ground, Archon binding in end. I think I will. Hmm, I want to force a binding. If I had better mana, I could Archon force in my turn. I guess I have better mana now. All right, I'll uh, just go face Ray. Yeah, I don't wanna. I don't care about Ren and six. I think if they play Binding, I actually must let it resolve. Because otherwise I lose if they go... Creativity. I guess if they go Creativity, I could... I could, like, Cascade after. They eat at the Archon, so... Ah, it's probably fine, I'll counter this. Like, they go Creativity, I suck things, and then I go Shardless, kill your Archon. Yeah. This matchup is, in theory, very good for Living End. Like, when I remember, when I was playing Creativity, you know, it was like six months ago, this was definitely a terrible matchup. I left subtlety for the leaving uh, for the grief, sorry for the teferis. Then I guess I can have a couple of endurance just to, um, in case they like put the archon in the graveyard. I want to have some endurance to shuffle them away. Maybe I want four living again though. So they have counters, and I have grief. You want white ley line for archons? No, I don't I don't think it's enough now. Burn? Yeah. Subtlety is here for Teferi, so I'm not gonna do anything if they cast um, Ren and Six. See if they have to ferry. If they do, we must find land next turn. Fable. Mm. Let's hope to find the land. All right. Yeah, I am going off next turn. Right? Should I? I think so. Even if next turn they go fetch land creativity, that's fine. We can go off again the turn after. I 
And I can only have two creatures, sure. But they're so big. And I also killed the goblin. The discard Archon. Yeah, maybe I didn't think about that. I didn't think about the fact that if my opponent discards Archon, it's a problem. Yeah, they go creativity for one here, it's a problem. Actually, they don't. Empty you lag. Remember, when you face lag like that, just don't move. Don't click any buttons. All right, let's go to combat. Binding. Yeah, can't do much about it. So now I could Harkas Grief. Yeah, I think I want to do that. I can like... Four. What else? I Harkas Grief, but they changed their hand anyway next turn. <gasps> My problem is that if they go... They have creativity? Nah, if they had creativity, they would have played it, right? What wound did they play it last turn? Where is them? If they change their hand and draw creativity. No, I think I should pass. Okay, no, I'll, I'll do. Yeah. If I pass, I can cast Subtled. No, nah, I think I'll pass. I'll pass. I'll pass. I'll pass. If they play thing, I can I have like four shots at finding force of negation, and surely I can do this to find a black card. But I just don't care about grief because like they have three cards that are gonna draw three more next turn. So playing grief, I think, makes no sense here. I feel like if I have three whales, I can beat even one Archon with three whales. The discard stomping ground, where tear? What's this for? I really don't know. Let's hope they don't ever reprieve. Okay, nice. I heard of Blood Moon. Mm. They put the Teferi back on top. And they jump attack? Maybe they have another Teferi? Well, I guess even if they had reprieve, I still could have gone subtlety pitch. There's another fable. They shuffled it to fear even. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I'm in the same exact spot as before, so Yeah, I feel like this is easy. I just attack with all and pass. Same exact spot as before. So if it, if I came up to that conclusion before. Actually 
Actually, now it's slightly different because you'll have uh, Reflection plus Fable. You'll have Reflection plus Fable. They discarded two lands. You played Binding on my Whale. Oh, Magical Line. Okay, that's fine. If I even if I find force, I don't want to force that. I think. Oh wow, you get subtlety. I understand. We have one card in end only. Are they playing it? The Teferi? Okay. You put it on top. Okay. You have no cards in end. Okay, I think what I'm going to do here is I will let them, so they have Teferi on top of the deck, no cards in end. So I will let them flip the last Fable. Oh, why no Otawara? No, why, why Otawara? No, I have to play out first here. I'll do Otawara Binding. Why do you guys want to do that? Okay. So they have no cards in end. Now they draw the Teferi. A Fable flips. Now they play the um, Teferi. I'll respond with Living End. They will get the Archon, but no haste, and we can bounce the Archon. The Motawara, the binding, no, 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 but like, this is, this is much better. Now, uh, who do I select? Me?
Okay. Oh, I haven't updated on um, on the thing. All right. We lost to Monored, Monored uh, Asmo. Hello. Unfortunately, the exclamation mark deck doesn't work, but you can find this list on my Twitter. I posted the, uh, and in my Instagram, I posted a 5 -0 yesterday. Oh, uh, bottom fury. Is Asmo good against? Uh, is it good again? Um, no, I don't. I don't think Asmo is very good. But yeah, it's playable. I've seen it. I've seen it uh, doing well. Okay. Um. Forest go is kind of random, but oh, mirror match. Okay, I don't think I've ever played a mirror match of Living End before. I think whoever draws more cascaders wins. I'm not sure though. I certainly shouldn't have started with a forest. I don't know why I did. The mirror doesn't seem fun. Fun is a uh, subjective for most people, so I don't know. I think it's fun because I've never played something, so it's challenging. Got by the theory about the mirror. What was the theory? His opinion was to get the point of our casting the, the creature. Okay. Although I think since grief exists, it's like whoever reanimates the biggest graveyard wins. Obviously, the biggest graveyard needs to also have grief. So. Also, Gab wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have cycled the curator there. It would have cycled the architects. I want to find grief plus architects. I think if you find, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the decorator should have cycled by your theory, right? I just think that, like, you know, if you have like two grave in the graveyard, it doesn't matter. Because you just uh, discard the cascaders from your point in hand. And you have the, the biggest graveyard. Like, random opponent has, you know, a huge graveyard. So if one of these cards was a Grief, I would have, I would have lost, right? Because you go uh, Grief, discard Shardless, Fleshback, discard Shardless. We'll see. And even if they go, like, reanimate in one attack win, that also is a... Uh... I end of turn with outburst. Okay. Well, the will, I would say the will helps a lot, right? Drawing the will helps a lot. Okay, to go outburst in upkeep. Allora. Um. I could cycle whale or I could just let this resolve cast shardless.
But I think that, you know, if I discard Whale, it's going to be huge. Like, my opponent has six cards. I'll have... Yeah, I think I don't want to go Shardless, because that might lose me the game if they have Force of Negation. So I'll just respond with Whale. Yeah, but Yuri also seems pretty good. And I'll let your Living Air resolve. This thing there isn't a simple answer. This matchup seems super, super funny <laughs> to the person that said it's not funny. One key fury and oh, it's much better in the graveyard. It comes into play now. Like, do they have to force of negation their own living end now? Is that what's happening? Because they're waiting, they're pausing here. That's a that's a pretty sick thing if they live if they force of negation their own spell. I mean, they're pausing. If I let their resolve and they went Charles and they forced, I would have maybe lost. So, yeah. The mirror is a lot more nuanced than you thought. Uh, you were wrong. Nice. Yeah. 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 I mean, again, something... So, one of the things I like magic because... Uh, sorry. Can I catch this? One of the things I like magic for is that it's super humbling. Like, it's never learning, ex it's a never ending learning experience. Hello. Uh, also, I don't have any stray raid. That would have helped because this is Swamp Walk. The only reason why I enjoy to play so many different formats, because I feel like I am always bad at them. <laughs> okay, I these cards are bad. Unfortunately, I can't shuffle, so definitely don't want to draw Urborg. I know that. In yeah, just go top and go. I mean, the limited board stay stall. Yeah, maybe I made a mistake with the fury. They're killing the creator of mysteries now. They can, yeah. Well, I also had a couple of I was the one flyer as well. Not sure if it was a good play. Okay, uh, let's go. I'll draw and I will attack. How do I attack? Let's go to combat. I want to attack with the two whales. All your fun pumps itself. Fury, no. Courage of Mysteries, yes. And uh, that's it. Uh, Ulio Fund pumps itself. It can't. On paper, though, let me tell you, this Ulio Fund would have been a 7 4. Okay, let's change our plan. Let's pump the Waker of Waves. Who roll your funds? Y yeah, position yourself. No, no, no. That one I know. Those paper legal only play. They never seen. They never cease to amaze. Opponent's on eleven, and eh? okay, so that is nothing, man. If only I attacked with all. 
<laughs> I don't know why I didn't attack with all. If I attacked with all, I would have died, so it's okay. Yeah, if they attack with all, choose bad block, you could do that to Otawara. I know, I know, I don't know why I didn't attack with all. I mean, I wanted to pump the audio fan, so I, I, I literally didn't know what I was doing. Man, this is so difficult. So difficult. Okay, I will let the damage through. And I'll go close as you go. On top of my deck, I have an Urborg. You get a 7 here. Poseju. Go. If they go shardless, I have 4s. This must be game, right? I can go like end of turn, bounce your waker of waves. Oh, I don't have all your fun. Oh, well, you block those, you take quatro. Yeah, yeah, this is over. GG. Oh, scry one. I can put this Urborg at the bottom. It's so funny that we won because our opponent played Living End. Yeah, super skill intensive the mirror match. Leyline seems great, it stops the endurance. Fury also seems great. Grief seems good. How many Charlotte's Agent living in the fact I leave? Two and two? Sounds right. So I think it'll depend a lot on how my opponent sideboard. This end is actually bad. It's five lands. I'll mulligan it. Keep. No, 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 no. I have to bottom a card that isn't ley line. Bottom uh, architects. Now review ley line. So they can't endurance me nor grief me. All uh, cycle got a stomping ground on top. Ooh, I think I like to go grief pitch architects here. And then I'll go probably the stomping ground and tap them past. I don't want to cycle this yet. Okay, 
So endurance does nothing. Yeah, I'll take a waker of waves. I have a endurance myself. I mean, I say endurance does nothing, but I can easily like cast an attack with it. The opponent sided in much different than me. I don't have any outburst in my deck. Troll? Wow, you have troll in your deck. It's a much different list then. I think I like to keep the the shardless. I only have two, so I think drawing one is okay. Not a fan of this frame. Yeah, me neither. That's okay. Even cycling, my graveyard is large. Oh, and endurance, nice. I have seven cards. Should I go shardless? So they'll reanimate these four things, which are actually pretty large. I reanimate what? I reanimate like eight of them. We know about doing endurance. Yeah, yeah, but I have ley line, so they can't endurance me. I think it's good to go Endurance now before... I guess they have Outburst, so they can just kill everything. But they don't have land, so I might just hope they don't draw land. Is that a strategy? Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's hope you don't have a uh, force of negation. I know four out of the seven cards. Blue and green. Oh, wow. That's a blowout. I lose now. Yeah, I lose this game. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, GG. GG. Was an issue, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, look, keep the same. Yeah. Both player cast leaving get lost so far. That is indeed a true statement. Okay. cycle okay so we want to art cast things I will still cycle one Olio Fundo. Probably keep the auto one though.
Yeah, I have some enchantment hay. I don't think I need it. I'll it. keep the old font. I guess I'll um, cycle it now. Man, my point in graveyard is large. I have to hope they don't have cascaders. I have to hope to draw a subtle, um endurance. I'll shock here because I wanna be able to go Waker of Waves Endurance. Not Ambusher. It's a pretty big deal. Go to eleven. End of turn to make it 3 3. I want to find a black card if it's possible. Yeah, I think I'll go Fury. Heal this. So I have a red pitch, black pitch, blue pitch, and a white card. What's that subtlety? I'm dead. Yeah. I mean, I think the Night Park Ambusher is amazing in this in this mirror match. I guess me setting out all the Cascade spell lost, but like I can't really even Cascade when they have two whales in the graveyard. Yeah, GG, I'll take it. I should have, I should have checked that before, not after. Kaponus playing Kahira. Maybe I'm supposed to mulligan these hands. I don't know. It says he does like lands and spells, so. Kahira means Teferi, but I just drew outburst. So I might actually keep Boseju for Chalice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cycle now because of Chalice. Blue White Control used to play Chalice main in the past. Played a wrong land, by the way. Should have cycled first, and then and then um, should have cycled Oliphant first, and then cycled Curator. Chalice stops uh, Living End, but at this point, I don't think they have it because they would have played it on turn one. But yeah, still, I should have cycled Oliphant and then played land. Okay, I'll go Stevenson tap, go 
And then I got burst in your turn. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to draw a force of negation. But I'll do it in your upkeep so that you can't go counterspell the fairy. You could either go counterspell or the fairy. Should I do outburst now? Is there nah, no way they have counterspell and they fetch end of turn. That would be a mistake, so I assume they don't. So I'm gonna go outburst now in upkeep. This way they can't go like spell pierce uh, to fairy. Also, this way they can't even go Lil and Binding end of my turn. But yeah, this is, you know, the, the, the broken draws of uh, Living Gand. Turn three, a million power on board. You have two lands, I have large creatures. Yep. Yeah. And you die on, on your turn three, like. Okay. Now, set it in for the Teferi. I wonder if I should, uh... Cut Furies. Yeah. I think I also want Graveyard A. Uh, sorry, Artifacts Hate. I'll do like this. Mathematic, thank you for the seventh month. Welcome, welcome. Okay, um, yeah, I'll just go Braiding Pool Go, no need to, Cycle Main, I already have a Cycler, and I might keep the Stray Rate for uh, Grief, if I draw Grief, so I'll hold the Stray Rate until turn 3, okay, uh, do I want to Cycle, no, because I have Boseju, so I'll let that resolve actually. Okay, I'll fetch go once again. Actually, I think I'll cycle straight right now because I drew a black card. So if I draw grief, I want to cast it to stop the fairy. Pass. Okay, they pass. Alright, no rush here. I'm going for a waker of waves. Jan. Thank you, thank you. Um, I think I prefer to draw subtlety because this is an answer to Teferi. Okay. I think I'll cycle because I might draw grief. Okay. Then uh, grief pitch leaving end. You thank you, John. Alright, stern scolding. Yes. 
that worked. I'm supposed to wait my turn. My opponent passes here. I don't want to go Bozeju shardless. I think that opens up the window for some bad scenarios. Yeah, I really wish my... My grave would have resolved. I'm just gonna go top land. Here I can wait until I have six mana and go Bozeju end of turn, followed by double shardless. This is good. This is very good. Now now I can do Bozeju end of turn outburst on top shardless. Okay, you shock and tapped. I still want to do that, I think. Maybe not. I shock and tapped again. I don't think that's relevant. Okay, I'll let him go to discard. Architects of Will. Yeah, I don't think that changes much. I just pass again. I might actually hold that in my hand for grief. Yeah, I think I will. I think finding grief is uh, the break. Curator. Huh. I want to cast Curator. Yeah, I think I might. You play a reprieve. Okay, F six. Uh, Bosaging chalice is bad. It gives me the melee hand and makes them play another chalice. Whereas, I can play a second chalice if the one is in play already. Okay, the creator resolved. I drew a couple of lands. They can maybe now do something unfair, like Teferi backed up by counter. I go subtlety pitch shardless. They can't go reprieve on this, so they have to go actual counter spell. Whoa, which they don't have. Okay, this may trigger something now. I still don't want to go Bozeju and they put it on the bottom. Interesting. I still don't want to go Bozeju. Probably I should though. No, I think I still don't want to. If I go Poseju, then I can go. That's nah, okay. Like it's bet exactly against too few things, I think. Like one mana card plus counter. So I think I don't have to be afraid of that. Okay, let's do it. Attack. Shardless.
Be honest, Mangu. Would you have remembered to scry from Boseju in paper? I wouldn't. No, not a single chance I would remember that. In my hand, you would have seen an architect's of will. In paper. Okay, as I said, I can't uh, beat uh, double counter, so I have to jam again here. Yeah, I have to jam again. Although jamming with Charles is actually not the worst. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean... It's not the worst of the board state to be in, to be honest. And they had to add exactly Dovin's Vito plus Spears. Yeah, they replay Chalice, remember. Yeah, that's why we waited so long before killing bears. Also, you know, ramping mana and everything. Like, this match is very, very hard. There's one leaving it left, yeah. There's two in the graveyard, one in exile. So I can still, uh, in a long time before I manage to de deal with the Chalice, do it. But for now, my board state is large. I have 8 power, they have 14, they have 12. They have Allura revealed in end. They just revealed with Narset. They have 4 cards. They discarded of hand size as Solitude, which obviously would be very nice now. That's why when they don't move, you don't move, because so they, they go to discard. And then when they start tapping out, like they did with Narset, Sorry, Teferi, and then you start moving. What's better, Living End or Cascade Rhinos? Yeah, it's, um, uh, in my next power ranking, I'm going to put Rhinos higher. But they're both excellent. Like, they're going to be next to each other, I'm sure. Okay. Teferi, what do you do? Bounce my Curator? Let's attack two and two. Am I afraid of uh, the 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 days and doing? Am I afraid of a days and doing? Because if I if I am, I can just attack Narsa with both. Yes, I think I might be afraid of days and doing. I don't really care about Teferi. Like if the good days I'm doing it, I would have like lost the game, you know. Do I want to cycle this? I think so. Casting this seems uh, not not so good. Foundation Breaker. Mm hmm. Combat. I'll attack like this. One and one. I don't think they have a single removal spell because we are post sideboard. You're supposed to side out all the single removal spell. And if you have Solitude, you can't cast it. So I think attacking one and one makes sense here. Give it a Otawara. Oh, subtlety. Okay. A 
of a foundation breaker, which would have been subtleted. Sure, I, I would have killed the fairy, I know that. But, you know, then I missed two damage, and in the long term, missing two damage here and there might be relevant. Yeah, so my opponent can now go Kahe attack me <laughs> to four. So I might actually lose the game. He was supposed to cycle Waker Waves because I have still like three grief in my deck. Oh wow, they cycled the Trion. That's weird. I think going Kahira was like a pretty big deal there. All right, I like to attack the fairy with curator. Okay, uh, I like to cast another one. I was thinking about uh, casting out Burst to Pump. Maybe it would have worked out well. Yeah, now they go for the Kahira play. I think I'll cycle Archip... Uh, nah, nah, I won't. Yeah, take me down to four here. And I think I played well for the beginning, but at the end I played bad. The counter I lost. Actually, I have to attack with both of these at Teferi. Yeah, I think I let the game slip away. I should have definitely been in a better spot. I want to draw a grief. I want to draw grief. I guess this is okay. Oh no, that's Teferi. What am I doing? Mango. Yeah, I think going Outburst was actually a, a nice play earlier, rather than just casting the Curator. I got one.
I'm dead to a counter spell. All right, let's play last game. Probably had the cards to win this game. I also let the Teferi survive in the fear of Days Undoing. I could have killed that Teferi a long time ago. Also, I didn't have any more Living End. Yeah, no, Sajid and Awesome's wrong. Uh, okay. Let go. We're all to five. In my upkeep, I will uh, cycle again. This way, I run out of mountains and also run out of all your fun. I think I'm gonna cycle here. I was thinking about holding this for grave, but would this deck play Seam Spirit Guide? Yes. Legacy Rhinos plays a uh, seven Seam Spirit Guide. Elvish Spirit Guide. It seems like they have fire and ice. They don't have a third land again. No, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go forest, go it. I'll play saddle at the end of turn. This time they can't go to discard because they have two. The mulligan to five. So I think actually moving is alright. Given that I don't even have a uh, threats. I think playing saddle to like this is okay. Wow, you go Solitude, Pitch, Blossom, and Calm. Blossom and Calm is here for grief, by the way. Well, this means it was a good play, so I'll do it again next turn. Generous end. Very tempted to just play Otawara. Like cycle this. And then play Otawara. Herbork. No.
Now I think it's okay to suspend the uh, leaving end. I want to delay the Ochawara cast if it's possible. Like if I draw another land, I'd rather play that land generous end. Hey, <laughs> that means to me they have a. Reprieve in end. Cycling the ice like that. Classic. I suspended leaving again, so playing Charles is a it's a risk now. Well I guess I get an attack through. Maybe it's okay to go Ottawa or Shardless. They counter, I go Force. Yeah, I think it's okay. Or I can just play Generous End. That's probably also a good play. Let go Reprieve. Nah. Do they have what? Reprieve Flash Storm again? I'll go Shardless. They go Reprieve, I go Force, they go Fluster. That's okay. We move on. So attack for five and then have another living against the spend, which wouldn't. Most likely will counter. Because I have a large graveyard. I guess if they play Teferi. Narset. Okay. They got Days and doing out. Oh, this time they have it. Maybe, maybe they had it last game as well. Like maybe, maybe my play was was mandatory. I got attacking Narset. Oh grief! Oh. Yeah, Charlotte goes face. Gotta get in those two damage. Yeah, I wanna... What do I want to do? Because if I cast Grief, it's gonna die. If I evoke Grief, yeah, it's probably the best one. I evoke Grief, yeah. Because I haven't even got no one counter in there. You like the Urberk tech? Yeah, well, it's not my tech, but yeah. yeah I think, I mean, it's basically similar to Sunken Ruins, but the difference is that it gives a uh, Swamp Walk to 3 rate. Oh, wow, you gotta try him. Okay, I'll take the uh, Reprieve, and then I'll probably win this game, right? Okay, you cast Days in the Wind. I didn't think about that. We have a Living Gun suspended up with one counter on it.
Okay, I don't think there's any reason to cycle this, even if deleting a result is gonna be a lethal board state, so might as well keep this in hand. Okay, now we have to hope they don't have uh they didn't draw a counter. For result that you win anyway. Well, for instance, my opponent had days on the win. If I cast this, my opponent shuffles my graveyard and then I brought my board. So yeah. <laughs> Literally, the case happened. Okay. This deck seems like a small brain, but if you're not really knowledgeable, like you don't know this deck very well, but it actually is big brain. What's happening? Oh, I'm griefing you. Is your top three card? Huh. Yeah, I don't think it matters much. I'll give you a land, I guess. Okay. I'll cast end. And pass. Now I think it's a lock. Even if they go fetch cycle, there isn't the three mana wrath. I think we managed to 3 2. Oh, the record hasn't updated. We were 2 2. Yes. All right. It'll be 3 2 soon. I haven't done the math, but I highly doubt this is not lethal. And I feel like I should have won game two as well. The opponent feels like they don't really want to do the math either. I'm with your opponent. Let's not do the math. Let me let me go to lunch. Yeah. All right. That's it. So we lost one match because you know we didn't draw the combo. That's reasonable. And then we lost the mirror match, which you know very very deep match up, and I just didn't know what to do. So it's very good. Oh. Ooh. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, like, subscribe, leave a comment.